No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Now I keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market right now, head over to buymaddencoins.com. They guarantee five minute delivery and 24 7 customer support. Use promo code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm in my new apartment finally. We are back with the videos, back at school, back ready to record some fire. The, pa <coughs> the past couple days, I've been actually playing more Madden than I have since it dropped, just because I finally moved back in, and so I finally have some free time to play Madden, and what I've been doing is I've been labbing, and I've been looking for an offense that I think is fire, and you know what I discovered is something, if we're going to take a little flashback to Madden 17, it's something that was absolutely insane in Madden 17. And it's something that I ran the entire year. And it is back. And that is gun tight offset tight end. Gun tight offset tight end. It is not called gun tight offset tight end in every playbook. But a lot of playbooks have some variation of this formation. And this formation is so good. I'm going to be releasing a full scheme video on this formation. If you guys want that video, get this particular video to 200 likes and I'll release a full scheme out of gun tight offset tight end this formation was my bread and butter in Madden 17 I didn't use it very much in Madden 18 and now for Madden 19 I say it's back what I'm going to be showing you today is a one play touchdown versus virtually any coverage obviously anybody can make adjustments to stop but any base coverage PA shot seams is going to be a one play touchdown for 99 yards and uh, I'm going to start by showing you guys. You guys always complain when I go out of 4-3 or whatever. So I'm going to be going out of dime. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you guys against a cover 3, cover 2, cover 4, and man coverage. To start, let's take a look at a cover 3, baby. We're going to look at cover 3 buzz press. And you know what I forgot to say? I forgot to say something. So I'm going to go back. Go back and tell you what I meant to say. The person, you need to make one substitution. And it's not even necessary. But basically, if you go into your substitutions, that's R1 to make a substitution. This position right here started as Sammy Watkins. Uh, it does obviously still work with Sammy Watkins, but you want your fastest receiver right on that left inside receiver position. So I'm putting in Tyree Kill. That's why I'm using the Chiefs right now, because Tyree Kill is so fast. He's the fastest receiver in the game. And so I just want to show you with the fast receiver. PA shot seems once again. And once again, going to dime and cover three. Where is the cover three? All right, so here is your play on offense. You got Tyree Kill right here again in the slot. This is going to be your key receiver. And then on defense, you got a cover three, uh, just a regular cover three. Now, if you guys remember Madden 17, this was the meta. Every single person was running this type of play because this was the best one play touchdown in the game. And it still is. All you do is rotate Tyree Kill over. Okay, so I'm going to do that again. It is so simple. This is how the play starts. You take, you go on a Tyree kill. You put your little arrow to the right. He goes over just like that. And that is literally all it freaking takes. Look how open he is. It's not even close. Now, obviously, Carl Joseph is, is pretty fast too, but I'm going to run it one more time for you guys. It is the easiest one play touchdown, especially against the cover three. And everyone likes to run cover three. I will say I notice a lot of people running cover two online. However, cover three is my defensive choice. Dude, it's like, oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed wrong. That's the only way you can mess this play up, I guess, is if you press the wrong button. But it is so freaking open. I'm not even paying attention. It is so open. I'm going to run it again. I've never, like, really used a cover three beater that is that open. Like, it's just pretty ridiculous. And if you have a fast receiver, obviously, that's off to the races 99 yards every single time. Now, um, that's just what you do, the only thing you need to do. I'm going to show you what I do um, when I run this play. You take Tyree Kill, you motion him over, again, like I just said, and then I put Robinson, that circle receiver, on a drag route, and that just gives you a check down. And I also like to block my running back just to cancel out the play action. Um, so that just gives you a check down. So if you need to, you can just throw it to him right there um, if he covers it for some reason. Um, but again, if you guys don't know how to stop cover three beaters on defense, all you got to do is invert this, uh, your left deep zone into a deep half. Now watch, it's not going to work. Now this, uh, obviously, good players are going to do this. Um, you see, he gets covered right there. 
by the deep half. So um, good players going to do that. So obviously one play touchdowns like that aren't going to work against great players. But usually when you come out against someone, if you don't run a cover three beater at the beginning of the game and they're running cover three, they're going to stop inverting this zone. All right. I, I, they're going to stop inverting this deep zone on the left half. If you guys are following along, they're not going to do that every time if you're not running cover three beaters. And then you catch them off guard. This is good for one freaking... One freaking good, easy touchdown. Easy. Easy money. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is if they do invert that deep half, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invert it right now, then that opens up the sideline on the left side. So then when you run your, your check down route right here, that Robinson... If they invert that deep path, it's going to be an easy read on the left sideline. It's either going to be Conley or Robinson. In this case, it was obviously Robinson. It's a good solid five, six yards. And then if he plays in a hard flat, so we're looking at the defense now. That's a hard flat and an inverted third. You're going to make the same exact read. Let's see who's going to be open easy it is conley so there you go that is against a cover three again this is my favorite one play touchdown against cover three it is so easy one more time i'm gonna look at it and then i'm gonna actually go into the replay um i don't know if i actually need to go into the replay to show you guys what's going on here it is just so freaking open just give me that bro give me that all right i'm gonna go into the replay really quick to show you guys i don't want to take up too much of your time because i got other coverages to show you but we're going to go into the replay. And basically, like most, this is the deep third right here. And what's happening is this out route is a little bit deeper. It's about 10 to 12 yards. Actually, it's looking up almost at 15. And because it's so deep, it's making, this guy's playing it. He's saying, hey, there's no one else on this side of the field. Everyone else is on the other side of the field. I'm going to help out on this out route. But he doesn't realize it's speedy ass Tyree Kill. Is just crossing over the field. Like, literally look at how freaking open this guy is. That's crazy to me. that That's a base coverage, and he's that open. Um, cover four is a bit tricky this year. It's because it plays so differently if somebody chooses uh, play the sticks or man the stick. All right, so exactly the same play on offense. You got to cover four on defense. I'm going to run a hard flat just so the seam flats don't mess anything up. Or like a man coverage, change assignments, whatever. Same thing, just motion over Tyree Kill or whoever that receiver is for you. Uh, you can run your check down with Robinson. Now watch this. I don't know why they dumb out like that, but it is once again, I would venture to say even more wide open against the cover four. I don't know why they play that way, why they play so stupid, but um, it's. I'll go in the replay really quick. I'll show you what's going on, and I'm going to show you how to stop it on, on defense. Basically, this guy... Is doing the same thing that the that the the cover three guy did. He says, "Hey, there's three guys on the left side of the field. There's one guy on this side of the field. I'm gonna not play deep. I'm gonna help on this out route." But he doesn't again realize that Tyree Kill is on a post, just straight to the other side of where his zone should be, wide open against the cover four. Now, if you guys watched my video on a cover four, you'll know that there's this thing you should do this year called play the sticks. It's triangle. And it's L1. It is just sticks. I don't know why. I think it just makes them play deeper. But that adjustment, which again, not everyone's doing if they're playing cover four. A lot of people aren't doing that. Now watch this though. It's going to cover it now. That guy stays deep. And now it's just double. Like I don't know why play the sticks works that way. It does. It makes them play deeper. They don't play as aggressive up. But again, people aren't always making that adjustment. And then you're going to be able to catch someone slipping in a cover four. And you're just going to absolutely bomb them deep and they're going to be heated because I would be very heated. Dude, it is just disgustingly open. I'm like, I'm angry that it's that open. Why is it so easy? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so next up, guys, we're going to be looking at a cover two. Now, cover two is a little bit more tricky. And the reason is what you're going to want to do is you're going to flip the play. Okay, the reason is, is because you are trying to get this um you actually don't need to flip the play um there's two ways you can be to cover two dose uh the first one i'm gonna show you is if you flip the play pa shot teams again just flip it to the other side and then on defense i'm gonna go against a tampa two 
Now, here's what you're going to do. The reason you flipped it is because this guy and it's these two on the left side, Conley and Hill. Those are the guys that are getting open, one of the two. And the reason you want to flip it is because on this other side, you got Kelsey, who's your tight end, and you want someone fast in the slot. So that's why I flipped it. So the first way you can beat it, let's, let's run it with a deep, a deep blue in the middle because that's how everyone runs it. You're going to want to motion out hit or, uh, Conley. And that's all you need, that concept on that left side. Then again, you can put Robinson on a drag as like a check down. But watch this. Hill is so fast, he burns him deep. And he gets caught because uh, he wasn't fast enough. But you see, he burned a deep blue deep. Um, now, that's only, that is a very risky throw to make online. Because you need to know who they have at linebacker. You need to know who you have at receiver. If you have someone like Tyree Kill... Who's fast AF boy? Tyree Kill is very fast, then and he has a slow middle linebacker and he's not moving him back. Then you can probably do this. He, Tyree Kill got bumped there, but he still looks like he burned him. He did. He got bumped by the other linebacker and he still burned him deep. You gotta have good throw power by your quarterback. You gotta have a decently slow middle linebacker who's not moved back, and you gotta have a fast receiver. Now I know that sounds like very particular, and it is. It is as difficult as it seems. So this obviously is not my ideal uh, situation. But you got someone like Patrick Mahomes, and you got someone like Tyreek Hill. It's going to work a lot of time. You see, I just did it like three times in a row. So um, that's the first way you can beat it. The next way, and the next way you're going to be able to beat it is if they're running a hard flat. If they're running a hard flat right there on the outside, you can motion Conley out. And essentially what's going to happen is, He's going to be up the sideline. Tyree Kill is going to be up the middle. He's going to take that safety. And then you just got Conley right there on the sideline. Like very easy. Not a touchdown, but very, very easy yards. And again, that's if they're in a hard flat. You know, it might even work if they're pressing. Let's see if he's pressing if this works here. Let's see this. Yeah, it still works. Even if even that was a that was a cloud flat. So that's actually going to be to cover two. I'm um, sorry, I'm like labbing it up live. Um, that's going to be to cover two, even if. You know what? Let's see if he's not pressing. That one is a cloud flat if he's pressing. Eh, tight window. He caught it. So you're going to be able to beat a cover two a lot of the time with that sideline concept right there. What you can do also is put Kareem Hunt on a little swing route. I think that's going to pull the cloud flat down more. Again, sorry, I'm just live labbing this up. Should be more prepared than this. All right, that was a really bad throw, but Conley was open. So basically on a cover two, you can hit that sideline or you can hit Tyree Kill or whoever you got in the slot there. Um, if you're going with the sideline concept, what you're going to be able to do, oh my God, Tyreek, you're looking wide open. Wowzas, 99-yard touchdown, cover two, baby. Um, if you're doing the sideline concept, you can run it to either side because um, you're, it doesn't matter the speed really up for the sideline. But if you are running it to the right side, you want the ball to be on the other hash. So if you're running that sideline concept I talked about with Conley, where you hit him up on the sideline, see how I got the field to the left? I'm on the right hash, so I got a lot of field to that left. That's a lot of field for this safety to cover. Gilchrist right here. He's got to cover a lot of field. So that's why it's tough, and that's why you're able to. Do that. Wide open Conley. Very easy. Easy yards. I've shown you cover three. I've shown you cover two. I've shown you cover four. Now I want to show you man coverage. Because man coverage is the simplest thing you've ever seen. So we got some man coverage right here. Now watch this. Watch this. You can already see it. You didn't even make any adjustments. Tyreek Hill on that seam route, just because he's so fast and it's in the middle of the field, they don't play man coverage very well. And if you got good throw power, the safeties are going to split. I'm going to show you in that replay. Instant replay. What's going to happen is if he's in the slot right here, the slot corners tend to backpedal very slowly. You see how he kind of almost paused right there? He almost paused right there. And that is all Tyreek needed. You see, by 10 yards, he's already passed him. 10 yards downfield, he's already passed him. You got your safety on this side, and you got your safety on this side. 
Splitting playing the sidelines. They don't expect anybody to be open in the middle. They're playing the sidelines, and then you just got Tyreek already. You can see he's got steps. Too easy. And that's man coverage. So, guys, I know this video probably was a little bit long for money play, but I showed you cover zero or man coverage, cover two, cover four, cover three. This play is my favorite play. Madden 17, again, like I said, this was the bread and butter of my offense in Madden 17. If you guys want that offense and you want me to make a scheme video on it, 200 likes on this video. The scheme video is coming to you. If you like this video and you're able to use it, leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Now